organization more than you can imagine. But I will tell you of some of the things that make me feel very warm here. It was many years ago where Renee Zook and I and Phyllis Sullivan went to a convention down in Bar Harbor. It was part of my first experience. And there was Miriam and, and uh, Rita Sherman checking us in. And I said to Rita, what could I do? She took me by the hand, she's going to work. <laughs> and I told this story countless times because she made me feel welcome. She made me feel I was part of the organization. I was truly a sister. And I never forgot that. And so, thank you, Rita. My pleasure. Rita, let's take a stand up, Rita, if you may. We all. Rita. Rita, Rita let's give her a Rita, a hand of applause. <laughs> Okay, and Renee is sitting next to her, right? Renee is Renee. the former president here, former council president, and also she was on the board and she was a, a area director, uh, not a director, uh, area coordinator. coordinator. All right. Our trip's to Israel. My trip with Israel, I've been there three times. Once, and it's not a lot compared to people in this room. But the first time I went with my family, I went with my husband, my late husband, my sister-in-law, my brother, who were both gone. And we enjoyed it so immensely, and we came home. And I joined this organization because when I got down here, Renee was living here. And she says, you have to come, because we went on the cruises. Well, that's, that's what we had in those. And we were going. And we joined. And one of the trips I went last was when it was a... Uh, actually almost 15 years ago, we had a bat mitzvah at the Western Wall. I and a whole group of women, about 180, were bat mitzvah there. We read a little parsha, and we did it. And these are the things that made me feel part of this organization, that there is a heart and it beats. On our last trip, I had the pleasure of going to more daycare centers. I went originally. And the first time I went into a little daycare center, and they were sitting around a little round table, and I yelled shalom, and everybody turned around. They were wonderful. They were three-year-olds. They were babies crawling. I held them. It made me feel so great. This is a picture from our Tel Aviv daycare center. It's named for holding my ear. I'm going to picture it around and show you what this was. This was on a Friday eve, uh, afternoon. Did you get the money back? This was from our place in Sidrut. Sidrut is 50 miles from the Gaza border. And up until about three years ago, they were not sheltered. In other words, when the missiles came in, there were no shelters. They had to run to shelter. So three-year-olds and two-year-olds were running to a shelter. Wow. Now those those daycare centers are all sheltered. <coughs> okay, but let's look at the trauma that they had to go through with these shelters. It just stays with them. One of the places we went to, and I've been there twice, is called Kanot. Kanot and Anot are villages where children who are come from disturbed homes. They are dis disturbed and their children who you feel they'll be on the streets and they don't. And what happened this time was we were six of students who were going with us, they were 17 to 18 year olds, 18 year olds, because we take them from 10 years to 18. Of course after 18 they go either into the police force or the army. These six children stood in front of us and said you don't know what you have done for us. You have given us a reason to live and be a viable citizen. Now when a 17, 18 year old tells you, you saved our lives, do you realize what it does? I still get goose pimples when I think of them standing there and telling me this. Okay? We were there. We saw what they did. We went to the high schools. The high schools, they are marvelous. They, they do such creative work, lamps, pictures, carpentry, 
These children, if they're not getting a college <laughs> education, they're getting a trade that's viable and necessary to this world. This is one of the pictures from Sidrat. I'm passing that around. As I said, the children in Kanot have an equestrian program. Why is there a equestrian program? Because they have to learn to care for the animal, for a horse, to groom him, to take care of him when they ride to it. And what is their job? To teach the younger ones how to care. So they're giving up themselves while they're learning to deal with other children who have problems. And I am proud to say about 98% of them come out, either they go into agriculture or they go into higher education. Everybody goes into the army or the police force. And that's what we do. I'm also proud to say that when we were, when we gave, as of June 30th of this past year, that we have a, cal we don't have a calendar year, we have the fiscal year, July 1st to June 30th. Mm -hmm. We sent to Israel just under $900,000. Wow. And it comes from all of you. And we need, you know the old saying, it takes a, vil a village to build with children? Well, that's what we need. We are the age where we can't be as productive as we were 20 years ago. That's why we need more people to become interested and to step into our footsteps. And it's important that we pass this on to everybody else. And so I am very proud to be a member, a life member of NAMAT, and God give me the strength, I will continue. Amen.